Remember, there's some pretty important information here in the disclaimer. You might want to give the video a quick pause and read it. Oh, hey everybody, it's me, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Just here to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. And for even more amazing customs, don't forget to subscribe to Wake Angel 2001. Because between you and me, they're way past cool. Hello everyone, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with the final figure in B. Serrano's commission, E123 Omega. Uh, yes, we are making Omega again. I guess ever since I figured out the trick to making Rouge a whole bunch of times, it made everybody want complete Team Dark, so Omega is also going up on the popularity, which... Is kind of um, it's kind of a thing because Omega is actually a pretty complicated conversion compared to Rouge, but whatever. Um, now as usual, the base figure for Omega is the Thrilling Thirty Optimus Prime Legends mold, but uh, this one is actually the Nemesis Prime repaint. I feel a little bit guilty about this because Nemesis Prime is actually a really cool repaint, but. Then again, I guess it's just because he's all red and black. Oh god, it's a shadow effect, but for Transformers. <laughs> and um, we all know that there's a whole bunch of 3D printed parts that go into this. So, um, just like I did with my last Omega, once I, once I popped all the arms and legs off the ball joints, I found that I could actually make a more um, accurate body plan by doing the simple thing of turning the waist around 180 degrees so that the body hangs a different way. I don't know why I didn't think to do that for the first couple of Omegas, but it actually really helps with this one. And um, I, of course, had to do some pretty hardcore cutting to the limbs. Basically, everything that isn't the joint itself had to go so that I could stick them onto Omega's new limbs, which are, of course, held on with a combination of crazy glue and epoxy sculpt. Uh, so yeah, uh, knees on the shins, elbows in the forearms, epoxy everywhere to make sure they stay nice and stable, and uh, of course uh, embedding a Mega Constructs ball joint set, um, which again comes off of an Ekans figure, to be the ankle rockers for the feet, and I still have not figured out an effective way to implement wrist joints on this kind of build, but you know, like at least the hands look better, right? <laughs> Alright, so um, the lion's share of the actual sculpting goes into the torso, of course, as I have yet to come up with a way to 3D print the particular shape of his body while still maintaining uh, connection to all these ball joints and um, allowing the waist to still swivel. Um, although I do have at least a little bit of the torso made with 3D printing to stick around where the shoulders would go. And, um, you know, once once that part is stable, I sculpt the rest of it with that whole little tapering cylinder that it has going on, along with rocket nozzles and a nice solid paint job to make sure that everything sticks together, including those little things down by the crotch. Um, does he have a crotch? He's a robot. Technically, he doesn't, but uh, that just lets you know where to look. All right, now, usually... For his hip skirt belt kind of thing, I would uh, use that um, the Lego brick. That's the uh, two by one brick with uh, well the two by one slab that has a ball joint sticking out the side of it. But I didn't have any more of those, so I figured, well, I got myself this big old ball full of Ekans ball joints. Let's see if I can figure that out. So I um, I stuck them on to the little sides of Optimus's hips there. Um, are those Optimus's hips? I I'm, I'm just getting pedantic now. And uh, I stuck them on with a mixture of epoxy and glue, just like everything else, and used a drill to make a couple of little holes in the sides of them. This made a good attachment place for the 3D printed rings that make up the, uh, you know, the little belt skirt itself. Um, along with a couple more Ekans joints to make the actual skirt pieces that hang down off the sides. Uh, compared to all of this rigmarole, the shoulders were nothing. Just a little bit of extra sculpting to make them match the shape of Omega and then a paint job. So they're, they're barely even worth getting into. 
Uh, so that gives us real quick a uh, nemesis. Um, no, no, this is E one two three nemesis. Yes, <laughs> annihilation is the privilege of all who face me. <laughs> yeah, like uh, uh, some of my longtime subscribers might remember my Omega Mus Prime joke. Well, this is. This is the Nemesis version of that, because that's Nemesis' head sticking out of Omega's body. Alright, so in all seriousness, uh, let's attach Omega's actual head, which involves cutting Optimus's, or in this case, Nemesis's head in half to fit it on there. And uh, yeah, we got us a full Omega! Yay! I uh, do love me some Omegas, he looks so cool and awesome and... Uh, you know, it, it just works. I like, I, I like when, when it works. <laughs> um, maybe someday we will find a base figure aside from Optimus that can be used. Um, but for now, it's a, it's a pretty effective one. It works. Um, and this also means that we can finally get a proper Sonic Heroes group shot of Team Dark. Yes, this is the first time when we can have a full Team Dark with Rouge in her actual... Uh, Sonic Heroes costume, so it's accurate to how they appeared in the game. Isn't that fun? I mean, Team Dark would make appearances together in Sonic 2006 and even Sonic Battle, but, you know, like, this is the original Team Dark. And, uh, just as a quick reminder, these are the four figures that B. Serrano had me make him, Omega being the most recent, along with um, uh, Heroes Rouge done with the silver figure, and, and also Chaos Zero and Metal Knuckles. So uh, yeah, that's another that's another commissioner whose job is done, and uh, we can move on to the next guy or girl. I honestly do not keep track of the genders of the people that I make figures for. Actually, you know what? A guy is gender neutral. It, it or is it masculine? I think I know definitely the plural guys is gender neutral. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have completely mentally checked out upon hearing me say this kind of thing. Alright, so this is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.